There are a lot of reasons for us to look at the order of operations, but today we're going to focus on one important reason. For Here are examples of some of the finance formulas that we'll be using this semester. They are complicated formulas, and we will use some kind of technology to process those formulas. The formulas are almost always expressed in algebraic terms. If you're writing a formula in Google Docs, for example, then you need to be able to see the order of operation that is algebra formula and be able to, to replicate that in the one-line formula that's used in Google Docs. The formulas we use this semester will generally be made up of a combination of five binary operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation. Each of these are called binary operations because they take two numbers, put those numbers together to produce a new number. Over the centuries, actually over millennia, a notation has been developed to keep track of these binary operations. For example, addition is usually shown as something like 3 plus 4. So the two numbers are separated by a symbol that identifies what kind of operation is being done. Similarly with subtraction, 7 minus 4 is an example. Multiplication has, we've used many different kinds of notation for multiplication. Sometimes we've just written two numbers beside one another. In elementary school, we usually used a, an X to say multiplication, or sometimes we just use a, a dot. But when we're using technology, pretty commonly people use a, an, an asterisk. So a two star three. The asterisk is found on your keyboard as a shift eight. There's been a lot of notation for division as well. Sometimes this bar with two little dots, so 12 divided by three this way. Three divides into 12. The notation most commonly used in technology is 12 slash 3. We talked about exponentiation in a previous video. 5 raised to the third power means 5 times 5 times 5. In uh, technology, usually the notation that's used is 5 caret 3. A caret is found on your keyboard as a shift 6. So here we've circled the kind of notation that is most often used in technology. Addition is just a 3 plus 4. Subtraction is 7 hyphen 4. Uh, multiplication, 2 star 3. Division, 12 slash 3. And exponentiation, 5 caret 3. Now notice that with addition and multiplication, you can commute the order that the uh, operation is done. 3 plus 4 is always the same as 4 plus 3, no matter what two numbers you've got. Similarly, 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. That's called a commutative property. And these operations have that property. Notice that 7 minus 4 is 3, but 4 minus 7 is a negative 3. It gives a different result. Notice that 12 divided by 3 is 4, but 3 divided by 12 is 1 fourth or 0.25 if you wrote it as a decimal. Similarly with exponentiation, 5 to the third power is 125, but 3 to the fifth power, 3 would be, what, 243? Uh, so 5 times 3, 5 raised to the third power is very different than 3 raised to the 5 power. Addition and multiplication ha have an additional property called the associative property. That is, if you're, if you're adding three numbers together, then you could associate it this way. You could do the 3 plus 4 is 7, plus a 5 would be 12. Or you could do it this way, do the 4 plus 5 first, that would be 9, plus a 3, it would also be 12. So the point is that with addition, it doesn't matter. If all that you've got is a string of addition, the order of operation doesn't matter. As long as you're just multiplying numbers together, then 3 times 4 times 5, you could associate by doing the the binary operation 3 times 4 first, that would be a 12 times 5, 60. And uh, 3 times 4 times 5, this is a star here, not an addition sign. 4 times 5 is 20 times 3 is 60. But once you start combining addition and multiplication and subtraction and division and exponentiation, then the order matters a great deal because the order that the operations are done produce a different result.
Okay, let's take a look at a relatively complicated computation. Here it is, 3 to the 5th minus 7, and all of that divided by 5 times 4 plus 2 to the 3 plus 5th power. Okay, so what we want to do is convert this to, uh, to something that could be used in technology. It will need to be written entirely on one line. 3 to the 5th power would be 3 caret 5. And, of course, minus 7. And then we're going to be dividing that by some other amount. So what I'm doing here is just reading along with the operations that are going on. There's a binary operation of x exponentiation here. There's a binary operation of subtraction. There's a binary operation of division. A binary operation of multiplication. A binary operation of exp exponentiation. And a binary operation of addition. So literally what I've done here is just read along uh, from the left to the right as I went through writing down the binary operations that are taking place. Now what we need to do is identify which two numbers are associated with each binary operation. I'll attempt to color code those as we go along. So for example, this exponentiation involves the 3 and the 5. The subtraction involves the number that we get from this binary operation and this 7. This multiplication involves the 5 and the 4. Notice that this addition involves this 3 and 5. This exponentiation involves this 2 and the number that we get from that 3 plus 5. This addition involves this number that's in the blue and this number that's in the red. So this division involves this red number that we're getting from here and this uh, turquoise number. I don't know what color that is. Uh, this number that we've got on the bottom. So now with each binary operation, there's a set of parentheses that shows what the two numbers are that are being operated on by that particular binary operation. Now that's a complicated expression. Some agreements have been made that allow us to simplify this expression. It's called the order of operations. The idea is this. That will work from the left to the right, but first of all, we'll look and make sure that we're completing any parentheses that are involved. Then next, we'll worry about making sure that all exponents are involved. And then we'll look at completing multiplication and division as they come moving from the left to the right. And then finally, all additions and subtractions as they come moving left to the right. Once we've agreed that we'll follow this order of operations, we can skip some of the parentheses. For example, as we read along here, the first thing that we're going to do are parentheses. There aren't any. And so the next thing that we worry about is exponents. So this is going to be done first, so we don't need that set of green parentheses. We uh, do need, we don't want to, to do 7 divided by 5, so these parentheses are important to have in that situation. Once again, we won't need any parentheses around the 5 times 4 because we're doing multiplications and divisions as they come left to right. Um, we will need to have some parentheses here on the 3 plus 5 because we'll need to do that first so that 2 raised to that power is taken care of. Then we will need to have this parentheses right here. Okay. Now look how much simpler that is than having all the parentheses that we had up here. And that's why the order of operations is going to be essential to us in this class, is because we need to worry about how to write a complicated algebraic expression in a simplified form that can be read by technology.